So another quick break update. So today was the last day for Brick Vault's 20% off instructions. It was only on a few selected sets, but I really loved the Flash Speeder, the Gunkin Attack, the AV-7 cannon for the clones, the Poison side, so the droids have their own cannon as well. And this is actually a uh, addition to my things I instructions I already purchased prior. So about like a year and a half ago, I purchased a bunch of sets of instructions from Brick Vault. I'm just going to go through a quick few of them I bought. So I bought the ATTE Gunship Republic Tank, the Clone Outpost. There's a few others. I'm going to put a nice photo list of all of them right here. I love to showcase all of those mocks and feed since it's such a huge, vibrant city. To have correlating vehicles to really spice up the entire city, whether that be destroyed versions of those vehicles or my own rendition of those vehicles being destroyed. I thought that would be really cool. On top of that, I have an order arriving. I wanted to have some sort of fog implementation into Feed. So on AliExpress, they actually have little Lego, well, knockoff Lego, little fog misters, and they're about this big and like $6 a piece. So I bought two of them. Uh, there's a larger version and a smaller version. I purchased both of those. In New York City, they have these smokestacks installed into the ground it's their steam cooling system so it actually powers their city a portion of the buildings not the entire city it cools their city and heats up their city and that's something we have today imagine in the future so that's why i really want to include these cool smokestack steam little vents happening throughout the entire city of feed and you just push one button hopefully they all go off all at once i don't know how for I don't know how for long until I have to refill a little reservoir with water, I'm assuming. But once I get those in the mail, I'm going to mess around and play with those, see how it turns out. As well as a mini Bluetooth speaker, but a Lego version. And I'm actually able to connect my phone to it. I really wanted to have the Imperial Alarm going off. Because in all of Star Wars, you always hear... <coughs> so I really wanted to have that showcased in feed when you push a button. About two weeks ago, I put it in a bid. And I didn't realize I was going to purchase this item. It was 10 pounds of dark bluish gray Lego. And it turned out to be like $90 in total. It was like $40 shipping and then $50 for the order in total. So last night I was sorting out all the essential parts for those ones. I got halfway done, but I can't wait to finish that tonight. As well as back box up all the Lego sets that I have on my shelves. That way I can take feed, put them on my shelves, and from there... I have more surface area for me to sort. Let's go do that tonight.
I use these little bins to categorize by each part. Here I put the 2x6 plates, 2x4s, 2x3s, 2s, 1x4s, 3s, 2x1 slopes of tiles, the 1x1s, 1x6, all wedge plates. I emptied one of the slopes, 1x8s and 1x10s, 2x8s and 2x10s of the plates. All of these different sorted parts, so this is the old gray, I never really use that, so I keep that off to the side. I separate all of the masonry bricks, that's really nice. The larger bricks, and then I place all the actual physical solid bricks like that over here with the dark red and light bluish gray as well. I emptied out one of the tile bins over here, the remaining parts that I have to go through eventually. So I just finished moving over this entire clone base from this section of the table because it was split in half, which is really annoying because every time I would split the tables apart, one section would be on one side, one would be on the other. So I wanted this to be on one table to, so I can work on the hangar bay door. But before that, I had to put all of the Lego sets from these shelves away and took some of the modules from Theed and put them on the shelves up there. I placed the two individual buildings I designed and this is crazy how exactly perfect this building is to the left. Like, if it was one brick any taller, it would definitely not have fit. There, that's actually the roof line, and I put the roof behind the building. And this building didn't have enough clearance, so I took off the top section and put it there. So that's why you plan and design accordingly, and things like this will happen. I finished sorting all these tile out which is really nice because that allows me to cover up this light blue shray stripe in the center. I was going to take these two, you see these two black lines, I'm going to take these out. I actually use them because these little grill, I don't know, like teeth pieces, they really help the gears really get onto the track. So I'm going to take those off and use it for the track on the hangar bay door instead. I finally have enough room over here to work on this section of the clone base. I wanted this to be command center, hollow room table kind of area. I don't want to go for like the Venator style design, how one section of the deck is like lower than the top section. So I'm probably going to take out some of these plates and lower some of them by a few bricks and then have some catwalks going across like the entire perimeter. That way it shows a little bit of consistency when it comes to clone based designs. So I just finished building all of these clone helmet racks, and I think it turned out amazing. I love how I was able to categorize each helmet by their legion. Bottom right is the Soka Troopers, and 501st, some miscellaneous guys up here, some 501st with some 212th in between. I tried to put the ones that are more high priority on the level that is easy to grab, like Commander Cody and then Airborne Trooper, Galactic Marine, Gunner, Arc Trooper, Trooper two pilots printed one by me in college, and then a Neo Trooper, some microbinocular troopers up here, officers. Up here there's just a bunch of plain P1s, and then down here bunch of plain p2s i tried to categorize it by i guess useful utility wise why would they use phase ones so they put them on the higher shelves and then down here is all the p2s cool about these designs it actually interlocks all of these clone helmets within the shelf itself so i'm able to get some pretty cool angles on some of them which makes sense because clones are technically humanoid which humans often make mistakes and are in a hurry so it's the imperfections that really make it look lived in. Of course, I'm going to take out like a few of these helmets have little empty spots to show that people have taken these off and are using them in battle. Because right now it's a little bit too perfect. So having a, a few of them missing with some tilted like that really makes this look realistic. Let's go put this in Theed.
day and see you next time.